Before we can talk about anything else, we've got to discuss news today that the government will spend $40 million advertising stage three tax cuts. So just to be clear, the government will spend our money to tell us they are giving us our money. We've been told that tax cuts were needed. We've been told they were absolutely the right thing to do. We've been told they were overwhelmingly popular. So why the need to spend our money just to tell us they're going to give us our money? Anthony Albanese, after all, said he'd been out and about speaking to, you know, like actual people. We involved someone else as well, or another group of people. Ordinary Aussies in supermarkets. I spoke with people, as I do, uh, in shopping centres, uh, around streets, uh, in shops. <laughs> so, Anthony Albanese had spoken to people, Kayla Malin, in, in, in streets. And uh, have, you ever, have you ever thought a politician was telling lies more than at that moment? I've spoken to actual people, oh, like, yeah. and then you had to think, have I ever met an actual person? Well, I know. And remember, we tested this, right? You actually went out and spoke <laughs> to people on the street to see whether Albanese had spoken to them. And you ran into this woman. What do you think of Anthony Albanese's tax cuts announced today? Don't, I don't know. I don't know who that is. <laughs> You don't know who Anthony Albanese is. I don't watch the news. He's the Prime Minister. What? <laughs> and there, perhaps, is the argument for all this $40 million they've got to spend on the ads, because uh... clearly Albanese uh, hadn't spoken to her and she's got no idea who the bloke is. I can't get over the hide <laughs> of the government here, though. L let's be honest, right? Th mm. th there's been so much publicity in the media and, um, you know, sure, it's not all been great publicity. Uh, we've been talking about it most nights for weeks. It's been in the newspapers for weeks. If you don't already know you're going to get some kind of tax cut, you're probably not even going to notice the ad to begin with mm. because you haven't been watching television. Now, we should note that the Coalition did run ads as well when they had their stage one and two sure. of the tax cuts. They apparently spent about $20 million on both of those campaigns combined. So I'm buggered if I know how they're going to come to $40 million oh, on this inflation. campaign. Inflation. Oh, yeah, it just costs more now, <laughs> Caleb. OK, you're not getting the same bang for your buck. But how is this business model? We literally pay for our own propaganda. Mm. Like, please brainwash me. Please tell me all the ways in which you were so incredibly wonderful. And funnily enough, everything that you want to do is what's best for me as well. Whatever suits your agenda, please spend my money on explaining that to me any way you like. Paul Murray pointed out earlier tonight that when they were selling the NBN to us, that cost 20 mil. Mm. And we all know, well, I'm still not a fan of the NBN. When the Optus network went down recently and the Optus chief tweeted to everyone, get on the Optus app, there's live updates happening. <laughs> well, if Turnbull and Rudd hadn't ripped out the copper that we used to have as backup... We would have been able to do that. But the Uptus network was down, so this thing's not infallible. And always pay attention to how they are making you more helpless and more dependent on these systems that aren't fail-proof. Then there was the Gonski reforms. We all know how well that's going. The Grattan Institute came out this week and said... One in three kids can't read and write out of four million Aussie school kids. That didn't stop them from spending $15 million on telling the Australian people how great the Gonski reforms were going to be. Then, of course, there was the carbon tax and they had to sell that to Australians. Spent a paltry $12 million. It actually seems so small. But I think it's important to remind ourselves that $40 million, $40 million I mean, what kind of campaign requires 40 million in if you're selling a good product, you simply don't have to sell it that hard. We already know through the polls that this has been wildly popular. News poll, which is like the pinup of all polls in Australia, said two-thirds two, two of Australians like this. You're doing well. <laughs> Thumbs up, bro. So why do you have to spend 40 million? As you said, it should sell itself. But I, back to that girl that we had. interviewed who didn't know who Anthony Albanese was. And then when I said he's the Prime Minister and she said, 
What? Most Australians feel like that every single day <laughs> when we realise <laughs> Anthony Albanese when is the Prime that Minister. Happen? <laughs> but they really should tighten the rules on this because, I mean, yeah. this is essentially like party political advertising mm. under the guise of where we have to tell people about this uh, brand new policy, right? I mean, if the Labor Party wants to spend its own money advertising this stuff, that's their business. They're well within their rights to because they're essentially getting ready for the next election campaign and we all know that this was linked to the by-election in Dunkley any way, it yes. is an election yeah. campaign measure. Then they go and use our money, tax money, to promote it. It was like Anastasia Palaszczuk just weeks before she uh, resigned as Premier in Queensland put out this video <laughs> yeah. talking about how great she is and, you know, I'm here sticking by you. That was a, a yeah. taxpayer-funded video, but it, it was, was actually clearly... largely about how much you guys love me. I know. Yeah. You yeah. love but me. Was, you come up to it, me in the street. It was you tell clearly me that. But, but, but do you remember during, the, remember during the pandemic and they had planes flying across Brisbane dragging signs saying, we are safe because she is strong? Oh. I mean, <laughs> now, I think the Labor Party paid for that. That wasn't taxpayer money. But essentially, oh. under the guise of advertising the tax cuts, they're really just advertising themselves. Oh, completely. Completely and utterly. That is... That is and we're paying for it. Please, it's, it's, convince it's, us with it's our own enough. money.